Hello, my name is Brent Norgard, and I just want to thank you for being here today. I'm with Celebrate Church, and uh, we are just honored to partner with Feeding South Dakota to uh, be part of the, cel uh, the uh, backpack program, the summer backpack program. And uh, we, um, during the school year, there is a abundant need for our children to have supplemental food sent home with them on the weekends. And this need continues throughout the summer, but that creates a gap. And so during the summer, uh, there's not food for them to go home uh, with them. So we created, uh, the South, Feeding South Dakota created this program, uh, summer backpack program for the, for, to uh, provide food for the summer. And when we found out about this need, we knew we had to get involved. We knew we had to get involved. It was just not acceptable for more than 500 kids to go without food during the summer. In the Bible, Jesus teaches us that we are to feed those who are hungry. And the people of Celebrate responded to that need. However, this is not about us. This is all about feeding these children and these families and meeting these needs so the kids can be fed during the summer. There are, we want to encourage other people to get involved. Uh, there are many ways to do this. Number one, you, there's a need each week to, uh, to pack the backpacks. So you can come and do that. You can also serve at one of the sites where they, the food is distributed. Another way you can get involved is to provide funding to help expand the program into areas that are not currently served. So I would encourage you to contact Feeding South Dakota to find out more information about uh, these opportunities. At this time, I'd like to invite Jamie Nold. He's the assistant superintendent of our Sioux Falls School District, and he's gonna talk about more uh, about the needs that exist across our community. Jamie? Thank you. And again, my name is Jamie Noll, the assistant superintendent with the Sioux Falls School District, and, and we're grateful for the, the support for our our students uh, throughout the school year and throughout the entire summer as well now. Um, if you can think about it, today is the last day of school for the Sioux Falls School District as we go into the summer break here. And for many of the kids uh, that come each and every day, uh, they have that consistent meal that they will have every single day for lunch and breakfast. Uh, when they hit that summer months, a lot of times they will lose that opportunity as they go into the summer. Kids are excited about summer, so they don't think about some of those things but obviously it is a significant impact on them as they go throughout the summer. So the opportunities that are, that are provided there by our food staff throughout the school year has been incredible. When kids receive the free and reduced lunch and in the Sioux Falls School District, if you can just think about sheer numbers with 49% of the kids that qualify for free or reduced lunch, we're talking about 12,000 students that would qualify for that. When they go into those summer months, many of those are taken care of, but many are not. So they do not have that opportunity to have that daily meal that's a good meal for them um, and that breakfast for them. So an opportunity like this goes a long ways in helping those individual students. Our food staff has been able to supply those different places or locations at the schools where they do have the lunch program or breakfast program depending on where the site is and starting as soon as this coming Monday where they do allow individuals uh, regardless of the income factor to be able to come in and receive that breakfast or lunch depending on the site and be able to have those meals throughout the, the entire Sunday or summer so that that is provided for. With the cooperation that we've had, um, now that'll even go further because through the school year, we also have the backpack program where the individual students are able to come in and get that food to be able to take home with them for the weekends when they're not provided that lunch meal at the school during the school year. Uh, so to have the backpack on the weekends has helped immensely with a lot of those families to be able to have that food and food source during the weekends. The opportunity now that'll come along as well um, with the with the pr food that'll be provided uh, to go into the communities uh, to have the truck that'll be able to actually deliver those backpacks. We'll still have backpacks available at many of the sites that feed the lunches or the breakfast. But now to be able to go into the communities and be able to deliver that for one reason or another, some individual students just are not able to. Whether it's it's transportation or their family just not being able to get them there or the parent being away at work or whatever the circumstance may be, they're just not able to get their son or daughter to that site to be able to get the food. Uh, so now to have the backpack be able to go and deliver that food into the communities. 
we think about it, and I even did with my, my son and daughter the other night when the ice cream truck comes into the communities and is delivering that ice cream and they come out and meet the truck and, and it's kind of fun and the excitement. We think about these individual kids, that same excitement was just being able to have that food or food source and, and the, the parents, the ability to be able to provide that for their son or daughter throughout the summer. Now we'll be able to met with the resources that we've been able to provide and the individuals from our community that have been able to come together to, to provide that. So we're very grateful, uh, no question about that. Obviously, we're in the business to help get an education to kids, but we know full well they have to have food and those basic resources that we all just take for granted at times. So thank you for each one of the entities uh, that are represented here today and for their uh, willingness to give and to be able to provide this for the individual kids in our community here. So thank you. Uh, at this time, uh, Mr. Gasson, I will have you come forward here just to be able to talk about uh, the program as well. So thank you. Thank you, Jamie, and uh, welcome everybody. Uh, first of all, I want to thank Jamie and the Sioux Falls School District for all that they're doing, uh, for the fact that they're willing to provide the summer meal program sites across our community, some 12 or so sites that will be available across the community. Many of them are being sponsored in schools uh, from the Sioux Falls School District. And so we just really need to thank the Sioux Falls School District for their willingness to do that. I think in addition, we also need to thank them uh, for all that they do to not only educate our children in our community, but also to help those children that are struggling uh, to provide them with some of the critical needs, critical basic needs that they need to uh, live, learn, and grow in our community. I think Feeding South Dakota uh, really needs to, to thank the school district too for since 2007 in their partnership with us in the backpack program and the number of meals and the number of lives and children that we provided uh, food to. And so we thank the school district for all that. I would also like to take a moment to thank Brent and Celebrate Community Church for all that they're doing to help us with the summer backpack program. Uh, Brent uh, made reference to the fact that uh, through their sponsorship uh, and through their willingness, their kindness, their generosity, uh, this church has come together and is helping us provide 500 backpacks to children across this community uh, this summer. And it's uh, something that wouldn't happen if it wasn't for the generosity of this church and uh, all of those that are members of the church. So Brent, thank you and thank your congregation for all your support. You know, we talk about during the school year, we do 3,400 backpacks each and every week that are going out to 30 some schools, uh, more than 30 schools in the Sioux Falls and, and greater surrounding Sioux Falls area. Um, ironically though, we talk about what Brent and Celebrate Church is doing, and that's providing 500. You know, the only reason we're, the reason we're only doing 500 isn't because mythically or magically at the end of today when school's out, that need for hunger goes away, because it doesn't. It's the challenge that we have always had about how do we get food to those children uh, when they're not in schools. Friday's always provided us an opportunity to get backpacks in the hands of kids at school so that they would have that to be able to take home. You understand when schools are out in the summertime, kids are spread out all over our city and it's virtually impossible to get them all to get back to one location or multiple locations in the summer to be able to get that package of food. So we've partnered with the summer meal program sites uh, for years to provide backpacks to those kids that are coming to get that free lunch or free breakfast on Fridays and uh, be able to give them a backpack so that they have that food again on the weekend like they did during the school year. Uh, but as we've looked at that and we've continued to uh, try to figure out how do we get to more of the children in our community, understanding that you know we go from 30 plus schools down to a limited number of summer meal program sites uh, and for many kids uh, those sites are too far away to walk to. They don't have access to it. Their parents can't get them there, whatever the case might be. And so that's why we go from 3,400 down to 500. So we had a young lady, Katie Patrick, that came to us uh, earlier in the spring and really wanted to see what she could do to help us deal with a hunger uh, in the summertime with children. And what Katie did is she got us to thinking and we started to talk. We started to figure out what is it we can do um, and so in a partnership with the Sioux Falls Area Community Foundation, for the first time, we're going to start a summer uh, mobile backpack program uh, where we're going to take backpacks and we're going to take them to uh, sites 
other than those summer meal program sites. Uh, we as an organization have realized that you know we need to really kind of change our approach to dealing with hunger. We've always been a hunger needs to come where we're at type of uh, entity uh, with our pantry uh, in the in the like. And what we really realize now is that we need to look more at taking food to where hunger is. And so this is one of our first steps. And this pilot program is really going to give us an opportunity to see what it's like, what, what it takes from both a logistics and a fundraising standpoint to be able to take food to where those kids are at. So we're going to go to an additional seven sites uh, beyond the summer meal program sites and actually deliver backpacks to them. Um, some of those are in Sioux Falls. We have a location we're going to do in T. We're going to do one in Harrisburg. Um, and so we're really trying to expand this out. We're trying to get food into the hands of more of those children that are struggling to have enough to eat uh, in, the, uh, in the summertime. Um, you know, hunger really knows no season, folks. It's with us year round. Um, you get asked all the time about, is summer better than winter? And it's really not. In fact, it's probably harder on kids because they lose access to those meals in the schools. And so this, this program has become incredibly um, important to that. Uh, so with that, you know, this is really not about feeding South Dakota. This is a collaborative effort with many entities in our community who have come together to say, we want to address the issue of child hunger in the summertime. And so with that, uh, with the support of the school, Celebrate Church, the Sioux Falls Area Community Foundation, we're going to be launching our, our mobile backpack program uh, this summer in, in an effort to try to reach more and more of those kids. And so with that, I would like to bring up to the microphone Andy Patterson, who is the president of the Sioux Falls Area Community Foundation, to share a few words. So Andy. Good morning. Thanks, Matt. Appreciate that introduction. Uh, the Community Foundation is really thrilled to get to be a part of this project and to partner with Feeding South Dakota. Um, each spring, the Community Foundation hosts a fundraiser we call City Blossom, and that raises money that allows us to do grant making, um, our unrestricted grant making, that really addresses some of the most critical needs in the community and looks for opportunities for new and expanding programs that really get at the heart of those needs. And so we were excited to um, partner with Feeding South Dakota on this one. And I just maybe start by today and thank all of those folks that um, are part of City Blossom because really without that we don't have the resources to be able to make investments like today. As part of our process we start thinking probably back in January about what are some of the critical needs we might try to address. And, and some of our board members noted the challenge that you've heard about already that of meeting those um, those needs for kids, nutritional needs for kids in the summer months. And so we reached out to Feeding South Dakota and found out they were already thinking about this exact same pro, um, problem and issue. And, and so it was great to make that, that connection and begin partnering with them. You know, today is a, a beautiful day and summer is coming. My kids are thrilled. I remember the enthusiasm I had as a kid with summer coming. And at the same time, um, we have to remind ourselves that summer is a challenging time for a lot of kids and families. That the, the resources and structure that the school provides is really critical to the daily life of a lot of, a lot of kids and their families as well. And so when we move into summer, while some of us are excited about the trips and activities ahead, others are worried about how do we meet some of the basic needs. And, and so to think about a program that really is able to address those, we learned that the numbers you've already heard from Feeding South Dakota, 3,400 kids um, are served during the school year and yet only 500 during the, uh, the summer months. And so we asked them, if you had the resources, the funding, what might you do? And they came back with plans that really excited us, plans that included increasing the visibility of what's already done, but also this idea of taking food to the kids. And, and so we were thrilled to be able to make that, that investment. And um, you know, the dollars that we raise, um, they're not useful unless they get to be given to organizations doing great work. And so we were excited about that. I think it's critical that we're providing food for these kids, um, not only for their own health and success, but for the whole health and success of our community. And I think even a step beyond food, uh, I hope we're sending a message to these kids and families that we see them and we care about them and that by providing this, this backpack of food is one way 
that as neighbors, as fellow community, we're reaching out and caring for them. So I just again thank Feeding South Dakota, the school district, celebrate for uh, this great partnership and allowing us to be a part of it. So Matt, I'll turn it back to you. Thank you, Andy, uh, for the kind words. Um, in closing, you know, again, uh, I want to thank everybody for, for taking the time to come out and be with us today as we celebrate this, this great event. Uh, again, need to thank uh, Jamie, Sioux Falls School District, for all that you do uh, to help us uh, provide food to those children and for all that you do to educate and take care of the kids of our city. To um, Brent, Celebrate Community Church, um, what a partner. You know, what a blessing you are to this community and especially to the kids. You know, and I want to say on behalf of those 500 kids that are going to get that package of food to take home every weekend this summer, I want to thank you on behalf of them. Um, Andy, the Sioux Falls Area Community Foundation, for your investment in this program, um, you know, in not only helping to advertise and, and create greater awareness about where the locations are where these children get, can get access to the free foods, the free meals, the breakfast and lunch meals in the summertime, but also where they'll be able to access those backpacks. Um, thank you uh, so very much, Andy, and, and your board for, for all of your support. Uh, and in closing, I, I would be remiss if I did not mention one last partner, one last collaborative partner in all of this, and that is the Helpline Center. Um, I want to thank Janet, Kittum, Lally, for all that the Helpline Center is doing to help with this project as well because they are really going to be the focal point for disseminating that information uh, out to individuals and families across our community as to where those locations are. Um, so part of the work that the foundation's allowing us to do is create and to advertise and spend some dollars on advertising so that we can create that awareness about where those sites are. And so in conjunction with the helpline uh, what people merely have to do is they all they have to do is go to helplinecenter.org and they will be able to find out where those location locations are. They can simply dial 211 and they will be given uh, information on where the uh, summer meal program sites are and backpack distribution locations are. And then lastly, uh, they could simply just text their zip code to 898 211 and that will uh, give them uh, the information they need uh, as to where the nearest uh, location for accessing the summer meal programs or the backpack programs are. So in closing, again, I want to thank you. I want to thank all those who are partnering with us in this endeavor to uh, really make an impact and try to change uh, the lives of so many children in our community. So thank you.